Daisies, welcome back. I'm Achara Cook, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? And we're doing another food video today, but this time it's a little different. Mm. This is from Insider, US versus India McDonald's Food Wars. I was just telling Andrew, but I'm going to ask you again on camera. Did you know that fast food chains offer different foods in different countries? When I answered you originally, I said no. But then I'm now just relapsing in my uh, head. I remember seeing like years ago, like the different menus, like I think it was in Japan. Or yeah. Japan, and I was like, oh, wow, that was not on the menu. I've never seen that before. So initially I forgot, but now I remember okay. that, yes. So yes, things are very different in different countries. And I am so curious to see what you can get in a McDonald's in India. I love these videos, even if I don't really eat McDonald's that much anymore. I used to eat it all the time. I do not anymore at all. Okay, so before we begin, you guys, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video. And let's jump into this. Here we go. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences Whoa. between McDonald's and India. Whoa, is that the whole menu? menu? I would assume <gasps> so. It's food wars. Oh that's, my god. That's uh, quite a bit. That's a lot. Drinks in McDonald's India come in three sizes. Regular, medium, and large. Mm -hmm. Drinks at the McDonald's in the US, four sizes. Oh, wow. Extra small. small well, I didn't know you could get medium, an extra super small. Size. And large. Oh, I thought it was super size. Wow. Time to keep them up. No honest. wonder we're so fat over here. All right. Lost a couple drops. 26, 27 fluid ounces. Oof. Hmm. Fries in India come in three sizes regular, medium, and large. Really super in America, size. our fries come in four sizes, I, I think. What? We have a. Oh, yeah, the small, kids. Kids or kids, small. I can't tell the difference. Yeah, I, I don't see. Yeah. Medium and large. The medium and large come in these really cool. New oh, that's oh, awesome. Oh, that is cool. Open it up like that, that, and it's nice and easy to share. It's a little plate. Oh, good that's job, great. Good job, McDonald's. Very innovative. That is better. But now that's it's good time packaging. to measure and see how much we're really getting. First things first, the large. Ooh. That's a lot of 175 fries. grams. Obviously, it's different per scoops or whatever. Yeah, okay. Let's try. This one, almost exactly I'm 100 grams. I'm curious to see the difference. Oh, wow. This one. 80 grams. <gasps> Fry math, hang on. Hold on. This is like, yep, there you go. 20 grams. That's a 20 gram difference right there. So you tell me, internet, is the kids in the small different sizes? I don't yeah. think. Yeah. I know this is not that big of a deal, but I remember, again, it's been years since I've had McDonald's, but didn't they used to have super size uh, for the. Oh, maybe after that documentary, oh, they were super like, size super size, they were like, we don't like we, that name anymore. We're not doing the super no. size anymore. Yeah, I remember, like, yeah. back in the day, I would always get, I mean, my favorite thing to do going to McDonald's was playing the Monopoly game because I was always trying to get Boardwalk. Oh. Anyone's ever gotten that list on the comments, but I think they only make like two in the world. Anyways, I always love playing that, but I would always get the super size just because, you know, I wanted as much as I could possibly consume of this healthy, nutritious, balanced meal. So, wow. But I, I was expecting them to say super size. So that shows you how many years it's been since I've been. True. Food Wars is on it. We're on it, baby. What about McNuggets? Here in India, Ooh, you can yummy. order them in three sizes. Six pieces, uh -huh. nine pieces, and 20 pieces. Good. They give okay. it to us in Lord, two boxes of 10 each. Of oh, is that it, India? Cute. <laughs> Our McNuggets start at four. Oh, did he then size? You got six, okay. 10, 20, and not to be outdone, booyah. 40 McNuggets. Wait. All the math heads watching will be quick to point out that that is double India's largest nuggets option. I hope that's the for a family size. Yeah. The only yeah. with the US yeah. is the McChicken. I, I think some the people might chicken. be having that though. Not even gonna bother themselves. with the analog scale now. Whoop. 149 grams. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Just one more gram, <laughs> it would be perfect. Uh, with the paper, I mean, we'll do this and shave off. A, an eighth of an ounce. Oh shit! Our McChicken it's weighs smaller. 140 grams. For shame! 
for shame. So that's interesting that that is the one thing that they have, or like the one burger that they have that's the same. And that totally makes sense, actually, because I realized, of course, India is mostly Hindu and cows are considered a sacred animal. Mm. So, of course, you would not sell a beef burger, right? I'm surprised that it's actually more chicken. I'm just more saddened than surprised that it was at 149 and not 150 because I'm just OCD like that. And 150 is like considered perfection for me, so. Perfection. Here is everything you'll find on the menu at McDonald's India that you will not find in the USA. Wow. And here's all the McDonald's menu items from the US you won't find in they don't India. Have no pancakes. Here in India, we can't really recreate the iconic McDonald's Big Mac because it's made from a beef patty. And to keep to the religious sentiments of Hindus and even Muslims, we don't serve oh. beef or pork okay. in a lot of fast food restaurants. I see, I see. We have something called the Chicken Maharaja Mac. Oh. As you can see, it's got three buns, two patties, a lot of cheese and mayonnaise, oh no. some tomatoes, onions, lettuce. Let us try it now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks... Oh Wow. Is that a fried chicken that patty? That is truly or? a Maharaja Mac. <laughs> if you're wondering, a Raja is a king yeah. and a Maharaja is like an emperor. So this is clearly our answer to the Big Mac. Now let's taste the Veg Maharaja oh. Mac. I think it's actually a very cool challenge that a lot of fast food restaurants here have had to adapt to the Indian palate like as well as sensibilities of food. Burger King we have come up be. with such cool iconic fast food that you won't get anywhere else in the world. Like, look at this. This what? is outrageous. There's no way to eat this without yeah. being messy. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh my. If you're not getting it all over your mm. face, I guess you're not oh doing it god. right. Oh my god, that's really Start good. Yes to all that, looks really good. Because of India's lack of beef, all the American beef options are technical exclusives. Mm. <laughs> Why? Why are you wearing gloves? All right. Big it's gonna be greasy. Mac. There it is. <laughs> Just brimming with stuff. Uh, my go-to for like 20 years. Wow. I still get it occasionally. The classic McDonald's. Yeah, that's, that's more my style. Beef patty, ketchup and mustard. I'm a double quarter pounder person, just saying. They do Stare. that? Of course. Double At quarter McDonald's? pounder. Double get it quarter pounder. Cheese, hi. You can upgrade to a double cheeseburger or a McDouble. What's the difference, you ask? I'm not sure either. So let's start <laughs> with the double cheeseburger. Look at that, look how yellow that it's, is. It's oh, beef, it's the cheese. cheese. Beef, cheese. Maybe tapas. the other one. The McDouble is. Doesn't have cheese. Beef, Beef, cheese, beef. Oh. beef. So it's just one slice of cheese in the middle, but not on top. What's okay. the price difference? Can we get that on screen? Oh. And how much is a slice of cheese? Joe's oh. Hack, get yourself a McDouble and bring your own slice of American cheese. Booyah, save yourself this amount of money. <laughs> Thank you. I'm with millennials Looking today. out for the little the guy. The reason you guys can't buy houses is <laughs> you're spending all your money at Starbucks. <laughs> That's true. You're getting your double cheeseburgers no. instead of a McDouble and bringing your own cheese slice. I mean, you guys are terrible with money. Shut up. You're what, seven, eight McDoubles a day like me, right? And that adds up to like, at the end of the year, $18? 10,000 years later? That's a down Yeah, exactly, house? exactly. <laughs> We're fine. What are you guys doing? All right, next up is the iconic Mekalu Tikki that Burger. That sounds you interesting. Mashed I like the name of it. You fry it in breadcrumbs and you get this really delicious cutlet. Here in India, they adapted it into this burger with a very special sauce, some tomato and oh. chopped onions. I want to know what that special sauce is. Yeah. That good. Mm. It's just so classic. Is it kind they of like the... Burger. Next up, there is a Mexican Mekalu Tiki, which what? I assume has some um, stereotypical Mexican they ingredients and flavors like in jalapeno. Yes, jalapeno. Ooh. Mm. Nice, it's way more spicy. Ooh. I like that. Me, like Next spicy up, too. they have a Mek Egg Burger. Wow. Mek Egg. Mek Egg. Mek Egg. I don't know why I did that. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh! Oh! Sorry. I did not expect pesto. What? Next up is a chicken he kebab didn't even burger. Try it. Every time an Indian fast food chain tries to adapt an Indian special food into a burger, that I take it with a pinch of like salt. A kebab. What the hell? This is not what we're used to seeing when we think of kebabs, yeah. but what? I'm gonna try it and let's see what happens. Does it taste mm. right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Very, very dry. Oh, yuck. Patty has almost I don't like dry. cardboardy no, taste to it. No, terrible. I wouldn't throw it away. put those flavors together if I was thinking <laughs> kebab. No, no. Cardboard tikki, maybe? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Next up okay. is the mech veggie, which is the vegetarian counterpart to our okay. mech chicken. Standard. If I had to eat this versus the chicken one, I would not be upset at all. Oh, really? All. 
Really good. Oh wow. Next up we have two American burgers, e. the American cheese supreme wedge. Hmm. And the American cheese supreme chicken. Interesting. My hunch for what makes them American is that they will have a nice big square of cheese and they will not be spicy at all. <laughs> True. Except they have a I lot like, of but I love spicy. Jalapenos on them. Oh wow. Joe, let me know if this constitutes American. I don't know. Where That's are the That's American pickles? cheese, my man. That's what makes it American. Okay. I don't know about those other toppings, but yeah, it sounds about right. All right, so this is what the McDonald's website says is in this burger. Whole wheat bun sourced from Maharashtra. Oh, hi. Tangy nice. jalapenos from Karnataka. Okay. Shredded onions grown in local Indian farms. And cheese from Amravati, also in India. Super American. Quite, quite close Definitely. to home. <laughs> this burger. <laughs> Currently, this would probably be my favorite order, a mixed oh, spicy chicken. Oh, that actually sounds good. And there's a vegetarian good. option, which is a mixed spicy paneer, which is just leaking that lettuce. That also sounds good. For those of you who right. don't know what paneer is, it's basically <laughs> that, cottage cheese. Lettuce. We love our paneer. We put it in curries, we eat it plain, we put I it in kebabs. I love paneer as well. It is so delicious. Let's try this. Mmm. Has just the right kick and it goes really well with the paneer. Mm. Fair warning, while this may have a light kick of spice for us, it might be a hard kick for Good. you. Good, I like a hard kick. Take <laughs> everything with a pinch of chili, chili powder. powder. Gonna move up to something called the quarter pounder. See? Quarter and pounder. That's like their big burger. Oh. So you can get a quarter pounder. Which I always you see that I don't order these things, things. Fake, I don't even right? know. I'm just telling you just what kidding, I order the double quarter pounder. The, the, the new one is, uh, it's actually a candle. <laughs> And then you can get a quarter of a pound of cheese, deluxe. deluxe. More veggies on it. All the oh. junk that I brush off. You can upgrade <laughs> to a double. This is what I would always get. Cheese. Damn. Oh, Look how thick this is. And then you can get that same double with bacon. Yeah. Oh man, skimping on the bacon, oh. guys. What we lack in beef burgers, we make up for in gourmet burgers. That's right, here in McDonald's India, we have our own collection of Chef special gourmet burgers. Ooh. Delicious. And uh, I think this is a rolling menu. I think they introduce new things from time I like to time. The, the buns the yeah. buns look oh, a lot more fancy. Gourmet. You know, there's a nice <laughs> rift down the middle. Kind of looks like a butt, uh, but that's okay. Like We're a not butt. Concentrate on that. First up, we have <laughs> triple cheese American veg burger and triple cheese American chicken why do burger. We need so much Same thing. Cheese. cheese and why am jalapeno, I drooling? some sauce, lettuce. I think Simple I'm just chicken hungry. patty, <laughs> gourmet bun. Does this scream American to you? Next up, <laughs> cheese lava American veg burger and cheese like lava name. American chicken burger. The cheese again has with to American like and again with the with a strange relation of food to volcanoes and lava. Well, I love a chocolate lava cake. Okay, this burger is very spicy. Oh. Just He's qualifies saying it's spicy. As, a, as a volcano you know product. Oh, for sure. I see. So like a volcano in the spice department. I thought it was gonna be like a melty cheese that, mm -hmm. uh, inside the chicken patty, and when yeah. you bite it, you get like a cheese explosion in your mouth. Char, you might have just inspired McDonald's to do something. Yeah, new McDonald's. Here. Add that to your menu. When I had the uh, just to make it a little extra gross. So when I had it, the double quarter pounder with cheese, I would make it plain meat, cheese, and bun only. But I would take my French fries, which I had to make sure. We're always well done. I know I'm very OCD about these things. <laughs> I would sh shove some French fries inside of the double quarter pounder. Oh, okay. So I feel yeah. like you would enjoy that. It's quite popular in the north of England, or so my friends tell me. It's called a chip butty. Mm. So like, it's not actually a butt, but it's like a sandwich mm -hmm. with like a thick white bread. I think it's just bread, maybe some butter, French fries. Bread, maybe, maybe butter, a, and french fries. Maybe a little bit of ketchup on the side. I would try it, but I would ask them if they could do sweet potato fries. Oh my god. They would just kick you out. Congratulations, McDonald's. The lava in the title of this burger works. Mm. The McSpicy Chicken Premium, though, has an egg patty inside oh, of it. Oh, that sounds good. It's like mm. almost like an egg McMuffin. Yeah. Mm. Oh, That's pretty that. good. Yeah. I just feel so existential right now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Imagine sitting here at this table and just tasting every single burger at a McDonald's yeah. menu. Yeah, you we might feel a, quite sick after that. We should do a video of that. But also, like, all right, guys, I'm going to the gym right now. We after. also have some exclusive wrap options. Ooh. We have big spicy paneer and big spicy chicken. I think this is the same oh, spicy cool. chicken patty. They look. And it's wrapped around I'm not... a tortilla, which is actually way closer to an Indian chapati than most other fast food restaurants. It doesn't feel as synthetic. Oh. Our McDonald's in the US had wraps for a brief period of time. One day they were gone, 
Nobody noticed. Nobody yeah, you guys got it. some yeah. chicken stuff that we don't have, but we got a few of our own. More recently than you think, they finally introduced their chicken sandwich to an already crowded chicken sandwich yeah. market. And that yeah. is, of course, their crispy chicken sandwich. And this thing is fantastic. Really? It's one of the best ones. They were Better late to than the game, Burger King? And they kind of took it over, in my opinion. Now, what I like about it, it's simple. Look at this. You just got crispy chicken, pickles, that suck. It's baller, it tastes yeah. great. Like a little spicy India. It probably doesn't compare to what you guys are rocking in India, but you know, this one has a little nice heat to it. Pickles, sauce. It, Wanna take it up oh a notch? Gosh. McDonald's go burgers deluxe. look so depressing the cool crispness to me. of the vegetables like, just clash like so well. It's like sadness epitomized with a in a burger. It's I think the best counter to sadness, like looking at this, in and out burgers. But they're they're better delight quality. They're delightful to look for at. For sure. But like, I just feel like the presentation of a McDonald's burger yeah. just looks like depression looks, in a bun. The presentation, I think, is what we're trying to say. It looks sloppy. Yeah. Good. It's good. Nikhil, say the word, and I'm putting one in the post for you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, God. So when it arrives, and it will reach, probably. <laughs> No, now we're getting into exclusive side preserved. dishes. Here in India, we have these add-ons. Number one, the veg pizza McPuff. Ooh. This is one that. of the most delicious things we oh, have. Oh yeah, here. I it's love the puffy things. It's basically a pizza hot pot. I would try that. Masala wedges. These are potato Ooh. wedges with classic Indian masala oh, flavor yeah. to them. Ooh boy. I love Masalas those are basically what is used to spice and chum. flavor yeah. dishes. And they consist primarily of ground up spices oh. like cardamom, cloves, wow. red chilies, Kashmiri yes. chilies. You go to every Indian home, the mums, the grandmums will have their own random, you know, masala mix that they use and that's guarded and treasured in their family forever. I love it. Next up, we have cheesy masala wedges. Mm. They're also serving a classic cup of boiled corn. I like corn. Which is so unique, and they give you a side of amul butter. Perfect. Uh, guys, amul butter is part of our culture. Makhan, makhan. This is probably gonna be the most delicious bite of the day. Is it? No, it's not hot, I is it cold? Corn. Oh, I Next love up, corn too. Next up, chicken strips. They come in packs of two. I love Three cornbread. Or five oh, yeah. Cheesy nugget veg bites. Yeah, huh. this is just a vegetarian version of the oh, chicken nuggets. Okay. And it's got some corn, some tomato. India is a great mm, country to okay. be a vegetarian in. Next, I think. we have the double cheese McMuffin. And lastly, we have Mexican cheesy fries. I hate the look of the, the cheese. On the McDonald's India website, one British yeah, customer said that these Mexican cheesy fries are the real deal. Oh. See, like, that I picture have looks no a lot idea how than, yeah. a British person that looks like can say that Mexican cheese. cheesy fries are the real deal, but anytime a British person says that another culture's food is the real deal, Run. it puts a little fear yes. in our yes. small Run. Indian hearts. <laughs> yes, fries are like ass. And yeah. the next exclusive side that we have is apple slices. Oh, apple slices. I thought it was apple Cut pie. Off. That's what I Put thought. Put in a plastic bag. Yeah. About to get saucy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, all the sauces. Their, bar sauce. their barbecue sauce is really good. Thank you. Wait, how long ago have you been to McDonald's and do they make you pay for the sauces now? When I Remember? used to go, they never did. I, ha I haven't truly been in a really long time, so I don't know. in London, they were like real cheap with it. I love sauce. I eat an obscene amount of sauce if I'm having like nuggets or french fries or whatever. I want like all the ketchup. I want all the sauce. I used to go to McDonald's after a night out. You know, you're drunk. It's 2 a.m. McDonald's is open. Great idea. And then I want like the sauce and they're like, there you go, there's one. And I'm like, oh, can I have more? And they were like, yeah, that'll be 10 pence each. I was like, are you kidding? Uh, they have started increasing, again, I don't know, McDonald's just in general, fast food or other places when you buy sauces now. I know back in the day they didn't, yeah. but just with the economy, with inflation and all that. I guess. Rent is going up. They're I like, guess. you know what? We'll get that extra 20 cents per thing. It adds up in the end. Yeah, and then I'm like, fine, give me five. <laughs> right? Spicy bubble. How is that? Not a good. Oh, okay. We got a tangy This is, my, this is, is my favorite. This is Ooh. the one. This Come was on. my favorite. Much better. Yeah. Mm. Yes, honey, honey mustard. mustard is good as well. I, 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 like, I think honey. I like that one. I like salad dressing. Oh. Too okay. sour. The, there was a good one from Chick fil A, honey barbecue. I would tie it with the tangy barbecue because it's so different, so we'll keep Sweet and sour. Okay. Santir. And yeah. barbecue. Ranch. Good. I don't know. America, we love our I ranch. I don't like ranch. Ranch is just okay. Bleh. That's why I said it. Cool ranch Doritos ranch. Oh. Yeah, that's all right. And all ranch tastes the same. 
Yeah. <laughs> and That's finally, a hot take. <laughs> it all tastes the same. How do you like that? Honey's the best one. Oh. All that money, all that energy, all that time, creating all these recipes, trying to sway the American pop the American mind. And you got you got beat by a bunch of bees. Yeah, just bring your own honey. Power to the bees! That's right, save the bees. We have one exclusive spice mix as well as one exclusive sauce here in Ooh. India. We have chili sauce, which is pretty straightforward. It's chili I sauce. Like it. I but like it. let me tell you about what is Piri this? Piri Spice <gasps> Mix. So McDonald's launched this in 2013 here in India. Oh my gosh. And it was so popular. There were riots when they said they were going to discontinue it. And so now, oh. it's a permanent addition to the menu. Wow. First you get this Riots shake over back, a spice and you mix. grab your fries, hey. and then People you People are pour serious that in there. about spices. Oh my oh. god. I love my spices too. Oh, I love like a whole routine you have to do in order to enjoy your fries. Why not? This is like Boom. a whole workout. Oh, yeah. Wow. Can we cut to a before of the fries? And you saw how they were. Now look at these. Ooh. You yes. see the little flecks <gasps> of spice just adorning each fry. Oh. It looks good. You make it a little more well done, and I, I will have that. Oh, I see. I, I see. just don't like undercooked fries I, when they're super soft. Oh, hello, soft. it's Christelle, and I know Nikhil has Perry Perry McDonald's chips, but in the UK, it is all about Nando's. It is all about Cheeky Nando's. Nando's. Yes. Let's talk about Perry Perry. Perry means pepper, and it's a blend of spices, so it's got things like paprika, ground bird's eye chili, a bit of oregano, a pinch of ginger and cardamom. Cardamom, but it's a Portuguese spice blend. Yes. It's funny because obviously Nikhil mentioned that the peri peri fries just blew off in India. And it makes sense because I'm from Goa, which is in the south of India. I... Goa was colonized by the Portuguese. And so I really think that Indians are accustomed to that Portuguese taste palette, which is why peri peri fries are doing so well in India. Mm. But enough of the talking. I want to dig into these fries because they look great. I just watched mm. the movie that took place. No, this is so good. Fun Harry, get involved. Yeah. Not chips without me, are you? No, sorry, I've already had a head start. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Nando's. Oh my God, I miss Nando's so much. I love that. I, that was like one of my favorite places to eat at. If you ever go to see Nando's. It's called Nando's? Yeah, it's called Nando's. Oh, okay. I thought the fries there were called Nando's. No, no, okay. no. It's like, it's a chain. I always order like a quarter chicken, medium spice, but then I load it up with like the extra spicy sauce. Lots of great sides. It's delicious. So love would that you place. say it's, the, uh, it's their chicken version of uh, In-N-Out Burger in terms of its popularity? I guess so. Everybody loves a cheeky Nando's. Oh, damn. If there isn't, like, crack. <laughs> crack For the fries. early risers, there's plenty of exclusive uh, Yes, the breakfast. The Sausage. Biscuit with egg. Classic. Next one. Classic. Sausage biscuit. The egg McMuffin. take the egg out. It's fun. just... That looks this, sad. This, of course, is Sadness. egg and cheese. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the point of the breakfast where we get into the McGriddles. <gasps> I love McGriddles. The McGriddles. What's a McGriddle, you I don't ask think I've India? had a Fantastic McGriddles. Question. McDonald's had this genius idea to replace the breakfast sandwiches they already had with pancakes. <gasps> and they also like inject syrup into it somehow, but it is a breakfast sandwich with pancakes wow. for buns. And it's the best idea anyone's ever had. Anywhere, Sounds like a stoner ever. idea. <laughs> yeah. like, like some stoners were like, <laughs> look at this. You know what would this, be great? Look this. They look like a little M in pancakes there. and a bun. pancake. We talked about this uh, a couple of weeks ago. I told you and Jabby and the people we were with. I was watching, uh, was it Diners, Drive Ins, and Dives? Uh -huh. with, uh, Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri, which I love that show. Never watch that on an empty stomach. It's very dangerous. There was an episode, he went to a minor league baseball game. Uh huh. The visual or or just the thought of it, I was like, mm, I don't know. But then when guys like, oh my God, this is so good. And I would have never thought. It's a burger, cheese, blah, 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 all the normal stuff. But the buns are a glazed donut. Oh, yes. I remember you said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what this kind of, with a pancake with all yeah, this other with the stuff. Yeah, with syrup and everything. I'm not saying I wouldn't try it. I would guess I would try it. I but. love that Americans are always like, how can we take something <laughs> and like just make it crazier and like just put more sugar, more stuff that is maybe potentially not the best for you, but it's going to taste so good that you want to eat it and you can't stop eating Let's it. Let's put broccoli and onions and ice cream. No, absolutely pass. not. No. Those are no, good vegetables. Gloves, this was mine. Mmm. <gasps> We have a veg McMuffin and a sausage McMuffin. Okay. Mm. The sausage here in India is not made out of pork like it is chicken? in the US. Instead, it's made out of simple chicken. Speaking of sausage, you can get breakfast burritos. I didn't know, they had, I didn't know they had breakfast burritos. Wow. 
Easy. Fuck. You're like a total drag, and you want oatmeal in the morning. <laughs> we have it. I want to see what it looks like. As inspiring as you would Ugh. think. Hot cakes and sausage. Uh, of course it comes their pancakes are actually pretty good. This the here, pancakes look fine. The sausage uh, looks sad. The big breakfast with hot cakes. And it's big. A lot of eggs. Kind of wimpy looking bacon. Yeah. Got yourself two English muffins here. Mm. And of course, comes with hash, hash browns. browns. One hash so brown. good. Potatoes. They are so good. They're hash browns. Hash brown. Undefeated. These things are so good. Oh, they India are so good. India exclusive desserts. We have a black forest mix flurry, <gasps> a vanilla chocolate nice. muffin. I want and a vanilla a chocolate, chocolate muffin. Chip no, muffin. I want the vanilla chocolate. And like a mix flurry soup right now. Oh no. <laughs> This would be really good when. Yeah, I was gonna say McFlurry. when it wasn't. I love Desserts. McFlurry. USA, we got them. So starting down here, very simple. Chalk chip cookies. Okay. Uh, this next thing, apple fritter, right? What? Mmm. That's this pretty right here good, is called a glazed pull apart <gasps> donut. I would love that. Would, I Blueberry would muffin. I would heat that you up. Had one, you've had them all. This is a what type of pie? Guava and cream pie. What? Let's see what's inside. Okay, I'm suddenly more interested. Oh, yeah. interesting. Guava and cream. I like guava. I will call it the cream and guava pie. Nah, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he just uh, ate well, more. Well, he, wanted, he item, wanted a verification McDonald's that it sucks. Everyone knows about this. I don't want a pizza version of this. <laughs> I actually and hate last, apple but not pie. Least, oh, really? Cinnamon roll. I hate it. it. Too sticky. Pumpkin like pie is my favorite. I love that too. Pecan pie is good. <laughs> okay. Right. Update. I it's not sticky. It's actually hard. Uh -oh. Exclusive <sighs> drinks. Starting with, we have something called. Be Naturals Mixed Fruit Juice. No added sugar. Good. Next up, we have something that they call Raw Mango Fruit Splash. That sounds good. Oh. No? Oh, it's too said, sour. Sweet. I said oh. it's Berry Lemonade good, it was, Splash. Yeah. All of these come in these I like very the, the containers. They're cute. reusable bottles, apparently. Next up, Strawberry Chiller, Green Apple Chiller, and Lemon Chiller. Okay. It's just it looks flavored like apple water. juice. That's exactly what it is. It's flavored oh, okay. water. Doesn't it look like and apple I juice? Like it. It. Yeah. This is a mixed berry that smoothie. That I would try. That looks good. I like smoothies. It's still quite sweet, but oh, quite good. Okay. Next up, American mud pie Ooh. shake. That just sounds like a like mm. a like a uh, straight up That's only dessert. Up. Like, Drink yeah, less. like a dessert. Like a Drink smooth, when I think, I think of a smoothie, I don't think dessert. I think yeah. Dr Pepper. More Let's like a go. Milkshake. Yeah. Oh yeah. Coke. Not exclusive. Let's go. Sweet tea. Too sweet. Oh yeah, unsweetened tea, not sweet enough. Yeah, you gotta mix it. You them. guys combine. Yeah. For the kids <laughs> watching. Why are you watching? Where are your parents or supervisors? <laughs> you can get yourself apple juice, milk, come on, drinking milk. The thought of drinking straight milk like hurts my stomach. There's also chocolate milk on the menu. Once upon a time, this was an iced French vanilla latte. Now it's more of a room temperature French vanilla latte. Mm -hmm. It's just okay. It's like really, like really yeah. sweet. Yeah. Strawberry banana smoothie. It yeah, looks I too, always love getting these. It looks too good. liquidy though for so me. So I'm gonna assume they're not good for me. Exclusive yeah. hot drinks. First off, we have They've strawberry green tea. Next up, uh, English breakfast tea. And Solid. Moroccan Ooh, tea. I want Next the Moroccan up, tea. a Ooh, flat white, white coffee. coffee. You can get a flat white? India, right? a land where we run on chai and mm. McDonald's does not have a chai option. Because they know they Caramel can't macchiato, defeat the chai wala. Cappuccino. Caramel latte, uh, anything, a vanilla cappuccino. Car here. Caramel, the V I does look try. like a U. McDonald's premium roast coffee. Any good? I'm gonna hang on to this one. Yeah, I heard that the coffee in McDonald's. In India, a chicken Maharaja Mac will cost you 231 rupees for just the sandwich. That's around 3.03 US dollars. We do not have the chicken Maharaja Mac, but we do have the Big Mac. And a Big Mac in the US costs. Four dollars and eighty-nine cents. Wow! That is a sixty-one percent price increase. Now, what if you turn this into a meal? A Mexava Maharaja Mac combo comes with regular fries and a regular drink, and will cost you three hundred and fifty-six rupees. That is wow. four point six seven US dollars, still less than the price of the American sandwich. I feel sandwich like it's going to be nine, ten bucks. But does the combo meal make a difference in the US? Yeah. A medium Big Mac combo, so Big Mac, medium fries. Medium drank is eight dollars and ninety nine cents. Significant. That's a ninety two percent cost yeah. increase. Even worse than if you just bought the sandwich on its own. On the Indian McDonald's menu, you'll find a two person meal which contains a chicken Maharaja Mac, a veg Maharaja Mac, large fries, two pizza McPuffs, and a drink. 
All of this will cost you 681 rupees or 8.9 wow. US dollars. So basically, you're, you're getting food for two yeah, people that's a for lot. the price of one person's meal in the US. Yeah. However, while it seems a lot cheaper I was than the say, food in the US, yeah, for, it's still very expensive and aspirational to people yeah, over here. Yeah. Your minimum wage per hour is equal to our daily minimum wage. Right. And so, yeah, a lot of people can't really afford this kind of food. The English speaking Indians that you see in a lot of YouTube videos on the internet aren't really a proper reflection of the majority of people that live in this country I who still can't afford that. food like this. So I'm checking my privilege and we should all make sure we check ours. Mm -hmm. But let's play devil's advocate. McDonald's India has definitely included a lot more affordable options on their menu. And so they are more approachable to the average urban Indian than other fast food chains. Interesting. Oh, the nutrition. Oh, that's, I bet. Let's compare some it's items super to see healthy, who right? has the least healthy. I bet that the Indian McDonald's is food healthier. is he healthier. For I think sure. so. Just it's... looking at the portion sizes and like the vegetarian options and everything like that. Yeah, for the most part, fast food in America is not very healthy. So. Although I do feel like McDonald's has tried to make a concerted effort to like be healthier, especially uh -huh. after that documentary we, we mentioned at the top of the well, video. If they're trying. Um, they're not doing a very good job, but <laughs> just my opinion. Healthy McDonald's food. In the U.S., a McChicken contains 400 calories. Okay. Wow. 21 grams of fat. That's a lot. Okay. 39 grams of carbs. Five of those are sugar and 560 milligrams that of sodium. That little thing has How about 400 the Indian calories. McChicken. That's crazy. One of these contains 398 calories, 50 Comparable. grams of total fat, 48 grams of carbs, 5 grams of which are sugars, 787 Holy. milligrams. That's a lot of That's salt. That's a lot so, of salt. The Indian version has slightly fewer calories, way lesser fats, but much more carbs and sodium. Oh. What if we made that a combo hmm. meal? Well, a medium fry in the US contains the following. 320 calories, Jesus. 15 grams of total fat, wow. 43 grams of carbs, no sugar, ah. and 260 milligrams of sodium. Only While that? a medium fries in India contains 340 calories, 17 hmm. grams of total fat, 41 grams of carbs, zero grams of sugars, and 256 milligrams of sodium. Okay. And if we add the medium Coke, that is adding 210 calories, no fat, 56 grams of carbs, crap 56 load of those of sugar. Are sugar, and 55 milligrams of sodium. Ooh, a nice salty That coke. much salt? We'll salt do the same. In Here in coke? India, one yeah. medium Coke will cost you 151 calories, zero grams of fat, 38 grams of carbs, 38 grams of which are sugars, and there are zero grams of sodium. But my God, that is a lot of sugar yeah. packed in this cup. That leaves the Indian meal at a grand total of 889 calories, 32 grams of fat, 127 grams of carbs out of which wow. 43 grams are sugars, and 1,043 Ooh. milligrams I don't, of sodium. I don't have that much calories Jeez. in my meal. Which means like, this whole bad like boy all together is 930 calories, Jeez. 36 grams of total fat, 138 grams of carbs, 61 of those grams are sugar, 875 milligrams of sodium. Okay. A little bit lower sodium than India, but we got you guys beat in On calorie, everything else. fats, carbs, and sugar. Mm, 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 mm. We win, we win. Mm. I don't think Unfortunately that's the one for you India, the combo win. stats are a little misleading, and the difference maker is the Coke because the American meal has a larger portion. Yes. If you order the Coke Zero in both countries, the Indian meal will actually have a higher calorie count. Hmm. And way more McDonald's sodium. McDonald's India does not share yeah. a full list of their ingredients, but there are some things we do know about their food. Like, did you know that McDonald's India actually changed Indian farming practices just so they could grow the kind of potato that they wanted? What? When they first launched in India in 1996, McDonald's promised the government that they would use products grown and sourced right here in India. But people who had eaten McDonald's abroad realized that the fries didn't taste quite oh, the same. Oh, and the fries are iconic. The reason for this iconic. is that potatoes were too they small, to be, the round had way mind. too much moisture and sugar. Yeah. And so the fries made out of them were not long enough, they didn't get crispy enough, and they didn't have that distinctive McDonald's mm -hmm. oomph to them. Mm -hmm. So McDonald's partnered with McCain Foods and they spent nine years trying to perfect their potato. Wow. They imported saplings, which had the perfect shape and starch content that they needed. They also chose Gujarat as their farming location for its climate, and they switched from a flood irrigation to a sprinkler system to reduce moisture content and save water. Oh. So the result, bigger and more starchy potatoes that can be used to make the McDonald's fries that you know never and love. I that now. <laughs> McDonald's in the US mostly uses Russet Burbank or Shepardy, Shepardy? 
potatoes. Potato me? <laughs> so, oh. these are big enough to have the distinctive long fry. Yeah, look how long wow. this is. Wow. Known to be low moisture and low sugar content. This means they huh. can remain crispy when fried and don't caramelize too fast so you can get a nice, even browning. Who McDonald's knew? in the US actually discloses all of its ingredients. So we can figure out a few other differences. In the US, for instance, our mayonnaise contains egg yolk, Good. as does most American yeah. mayo. Thanks to the FAQ page on the McDonald's India website, we found out that the mayonnaise is eggless, along huh. with all of the other sauces except for the tartar sauce. When people describe things as vegetarian here in India, yeah. they typically mean it doesn't contain no eggs. Egg. Yeah. Did we right. quietly retire Ronald and the crew? If, they, if we did, thank God. It's very bizarre. Where's the whole Grimace? Thing. It's oh of yeah. Nightmarish. So no. It it totally the way is. he goes. You know, when I was a kid, obviously McDonald's was a huge deal for, mm -hmm. for like those of us that kind of grew up in our generation, right? But every time my parents would take us to McDonald's, they would often have like a Ronald McDonald statue oh, yeah, or like the yeah. Hamburglar yeah, yeah. or whatever. The Hamburglar. <laughs> the ham Burglar was my favorite uh, character. Yeah, but Ronald McDonald was like scary. freaking scary looking. It's like, Especially if you had just seen it. So, yeah. Well, yeah, which I had accidentally. But he was just not nice looking. And, and so, yeah, I totally get that. Why you would maybe want to just retire him and choose someone who looks nice. This nicer. clown, he looks scary. Yeah, they would always have a... At the McDonald's I went to here in the States, they would always have cardboard things of Ronald McDonald oh. and I'd be like, uh, like, and I'd always want to punch it. Punch it. <laughs> yeah, this, when the workers weren't looking, of course. This was really interesting. I didn't know about the potato thing. That's kind of wild. That was cool. And then the fact that they started it in 1996 and that they took, they had to partner with McCain and it took like nine years to perfect yeah. the potato. But like that's so important. Like I can understand why they put so much emphasis on that. It's because it tastes like McDonald's because people have gone in international so. yeah and like they're so well known for their fries i think for the longest time i was like mcdonald's fries are the shit and even when i started having in and out burgers here in la which like if you guys have ever been here you mm -hmm. will know that uh for la locals in and out is the burger chain it's mm -hmm. like much more like natural it's, it's really good but the fries i'm sorry in and out fries Unless they're animal style, I was just about not to say, into you it. You took away my joke. Thanks, Achar. <laughs> I was about to say, you clearly have not had animal style fries. But yes, I agree with you. I've always said this too, and I, I still stand by this. I guarantee you if Doc Emmett Brown showed up right now with a DeLorean, uh -huh. and we could take, okay, let me get brand new batch of large fries from McDonald's right now. I'm going to go take that back to 1994 right now and compare between the taste between a 1994's fries yeah. and the fries right now. I guarantee that 1994 fries will taste 20 times better. Oh, I'm sure yeah. of it. Like, and who knows what weird stuff. Like, I've heard so many crazy things about McDonald's. Like, I don't know which country it was in. It's in some European, mm -hmm. Scandinavian country. They stopped selling like a Big Mac or McDonald's or whatever over there. And they put the last McDonald's <laughs> on display or whatever. And it has, at the time when I heard this fact, it had not molded because there's so much preservatives in the yeah, food. Yeah, I was gonna go. That would freak me out. Yeah, oh my goodness. That's why yeah. I was saying when 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 dude from America was like, I'll put this in the post and like mail it to you. I was like, it would probably it's, still be okay to it, be fair. That's like disturbing. Yeah, it is. But anyway, that was interesting. I always love kind of watching these videos where they show something that's familiar to us, but showing it in different countries because mm -hmm. it is really different. And just kind of like the eating habits and like the palates of, of people over there. And so I just find all this stuff so fascinating. I would fascinating. definitely want to try the one where you have to mix it with the That sauce. one that looks good. really good. That Let I us know try. in the comments yeah. if you like that. What are your favorite things on the Indian McDonald's? McDonald's menu uh, so that I can maybe try them next time when I'm drunk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video, and we will catch you next time. I'm Achara Kirk. This is Andrew Flash Gordon. Ciao!